Hey everyone, Professor Michael Scanlon coming to you again from Northwestern State. So today's little activity experiment deals with the concepts of pressure and specific heat. There's a neat little trick you can do because of the specific heat of water. Okay, So you may or may not know that if you have a balloon and you fill it with air, and you bring it next to a flame, the balloon's going to pop, right? Um, I don't recommend doing that. It's a loud noise. If, however, there's a little bit of water in the balloon, and you bring it close to a flame, it won't pop. Hmm. I'll let you figure that one out and think on that one. Look it up and check it out. It's really neat. It has to do with the specific heat of water. So, anyway. You can have a balloon over a flame, and it actually won't pop. Now, of course, we're talking about fire, so adult supervision is required. Safe to say for any experiment, adult supervision is required. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> so, what else can we do with this? Well, you can have like a closed-off candle, one in a, in a little glass container, and you put the balloon on top of you know what? Why don't I just show you instead of explaining it? Let's take a look at a demonstration that I did a little earlier today. So here we go. And this is me in a classroom. And I just took a regular balloon, all right? And I put the water on. And I just put the balloon under the water stream until it was full, right? It's not going to actually blow up. It's just going to fill that balloon up. I don't need much water. And that's fine. And you blow the balloon up. It doesn't have to be big. And so you'll have like a thin layer or a thin amount of water at the bottom of the balloon. Tie it off and you're ready to go. Now you'll notice I also have a candle. The key to this, or one of the keys to this, is to have a container around the candle. It's probably going to be glass. right? And so we light the candle and I messed up the first time so there's going to be a little bit of a jump here. Uh, whenever we actually go to do this and wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> so whenever I did it first, I didn't have the balloon all the way over the candle like I should have. Um, and that caused some issue. And here's going to be the jump. So what happens is if you take the balloon, make sure the water's on the bottom, you know, you're not holding the candle sideways, not a good idea anyway, and you put it over the flame, it's going to snuff the flame out, the flame's going to run out of oxygen, and because of pressure, something else I want you to look up, you can actually pick the candle up with the balloon. So there's a couple of things actually going on here, and if we take a look at the balloon after, you'll see it's actually charred. So uh, this is from the flame itself. It caused some charring on the balloon. You can rub it off. It's not like actually burnt. It's just soot from the candle. So I guess charring really isn't the right word for it. So again, adult supervision and look up, check out specific heat and pressure, two amazing, incredible concepts that we deal with every day. And we'll actually be looking at some of these things in future activities and future videos. Stay safe, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's little video, and I'll see you soon.